My name is Remy Ruff. I'm here at Spearstra Gallery presenting my new exhibition of works, Post. I started writing graffiti 32 years ago, but this is me now. So the show is called Post because the kind of work that I'm making is in a lot of ways post where it was, it's after, it's beyond, it's a new movement within another movement and it's very hard to label where the, the, the blurred lines between style writing and abstract art are nowadays. So I was trying to differentiate that somewhat and trying to move that away from what it was before into what it is now, which are two completely separate entities. Um, and the show is made up of um, very geometric, sharp, pulled forms that a lot of the time are on very organic materials like handmade paper. Um, it's the reason I make the frames because there's an organic sensibility to them. They're not new, they're not manufactured. Everything has this kind of hand-touched feel. And they're handmade, even though they're very sharp and they, they could easily be printed. They're not, they're all. Everything is literally made from the hand. I really wanted to focus on studio work for this exhibition. I didn't want to, you know, think, oh, I've got three months to do this. I wanted to spend 13 months making this show. I wanted to start making the works and start doing drawings to reference the works. I've never worked for a whole year on a show before. And I felt that I was in a position with my career that I could do that. I like the way that when you put paint onto surfaces, different things happen. So you learn different things as you're going and I always try and learn from painting. And also the materials, you know, there's a lot of organic materials that I paint on canvas, paper, um, sometimes wood, which also can be very organic and have a really juxtaposed perception of how you look at the work because it's very sharp but it's on this very organic material. Um, and I use tape, I use tape to get these lines to, to kind of change people's viewpoint on how they look at the surface and the artwork that's on it. I'm really trying to, to make the, the most clear compositions that I can and all the work is about composition and you know I think that it's such an important thing with painting and it's a lost almost a lost art form. People just throw things onto a canvas or a piece of paper and they don't think about where it sits and they don't think about the negative space which in my work is as important as the, the positive space. So what's not there references what is there as much as the other way around, if not more sometimes. And I guess with this collection of work, I really wanted breathing space. I wanted people to be able to move around, see different forms, different balance, different tensions. I think that's, you know, my, my key thing is to make people feel, you know, maybe very joyful with one, maybe slightly uncomfortable with one, but a lot of work goes into the composition. I've always been very influenced by suprematism and architecture and graphic design. Um, I like the elements of, of more graphic input into art, but I never sat very comfortably within the graffiti movement and people like Futura always really, really attracted me to making abstract painting. Um, and then, you know, discovering artists like Mondrian and Van Duisburg, Malevich, Zitsky, and understanding how people took abstraction and made it not graphic design but fine art. So, you know, and I'm still, I'm still learning, I'm still finding artists that influence me all the time. When I do exhibitions, I, I always like to make a kind of installation or some kind of more accessible piece of work that people can interact with and enjoy on a larger scale. It also gives people, I think, the idea that they don't have to buy everything. It's not all about buying, it's as much about enjoying and understanding people who need to make art. This is the first time I've done something like this on a wall. 